What's up, pals? Remember cosplay hot takes that no one asked for? This is streamer hot takes that nobody also fucking asked for. No one asked. I've been streaming for a year as of this month, year anniversary, and I've learned a lot. So I figured I would impart my knowledge and my feels, my opinions that no one asked me to share with you guys anyway, because this is the internet and I can do that. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Your camera will fail you. Your mic will fail you. Your lighting will fail you. And your streaming PC that you spent a whole lot of fucking money on eventually will fail you. Streaming isn't as easy as the trolls who don't stream make it out to be. They're actually really fucking mentally exhausting. I firmly believe that streamers are more prone to burnout than any other content creation avenue. It's fucking exhausting. But I love it. Bobbles aren't the reason you can't get views. It's your shitty personality. Or it's just the fact that Twitch is so wildly oversaturated. Or you're not trying to build community. You thought you would just turn on Twitch and get Insta fame. And that's not how it works. It's like you actually have to, I don't know, try. Sometimes your stream's gonna be poppin' and sometimes nobody gives a shit. As a woman, you would wear a turtleneck or hoodie on every stream and any bit of success you get will still be attributed solely to you being a woman. Because there's no way that female streamers work really hard or anything. And yet, some of the biggest streamers on the platform are men. Fun fact, it costs zero dollars to just click away from a stream you don't like instead of trolling and tormenting the streamer that you just landed on and decided, I don't like them. Streamer is not your therapist. Chat is not the place to go and dump all of your problems and then get angry at the streamer when they don't therapy you through it. Just because you hit the like button doesn't mean you're entitled to views. In fact, no one in any creative avenue is entitled to success. Wow. A lot of success on Twitch does come from who you know. And a lot of it also comes from building community. If you think it's just gonna be like the you show and you just want it to be the you show, it's like this narcissistic thing, then yeah, that's probably why you're not growing. We live in a time when people wanna engage with real people. They wanna feel a part of a community, a part of something. So despite the channel name, it actually shouldn't all be about you. We are scared of parasocial relationships. Just because a streamer is nice to you doesn't mean they wanna date you. You are not entitled to a streamer's time or honestly response to your message in chat. I think unban streams, when streamers like go over all of the unban requests and let their like chat be the judge are really fucking weird. It takes a lot to put yourself out there and sit in front of a camera in a room by yourself and just talk. Stop shitting on streamers for whatever it is they enjoy doing. If they were brave enough to turn that camera on and play that game or do just chatting or jump in that hot tub, get it. If you don't like it, move on. You're not entitled to your followers and viewers money. Just because you're hot or really good at the game, you're not entitled to anything. Complaining about not making money or people not subscribing or trying to bully your viewers into subscribing is so fucking gross. Hey, um, you're live. Think about the shit you're doing. Everybody's watching. Someone's gonna clip it and it's gonna live forever. The partnership program is bullshit. It's really not that different than affiliate. If you do donate or sub whatever it is to a streamer, they don't owe you anything. You're not entitled to a streamer's time. There's very little more annoying than someone in chat telling you what you should be doing on stream. Consistency is key. The anxiety of having to cancel a stream is like crushing. If your favorite streamer does cancel a stream, don't be mean to them. They're people. It's okay to say, hmm, not today, because no one is entitled to your time. You do not have to stream full time, six to eight hours plus every day, five days a week, four days a week to be successful on Twitch or any streaming platform. Stop perpetuating that myth and encouraging new streamers to work themselves to death and get burnt out and then leave the thing they're so passionate about before they even got a shot. 
Streamers who think that their way of doing things is the only correct way because they have some level of success, good for you, but then try to impart those tips and tricks on newer streamers or other streamers and get like frustrated when they don't follow their directions to a T, suck. Because what works for one person might not work for you. Every streaming community is unique. Just because it worked for you, Brenda, doesn't mean it's gonna work for me. Stop asking the streamers for tips and then being mad at them when you don't have the same results as if that's their fault. A tip is a tip. It doesn't, what? It was just a tip, bro. Not a master secret to guaranteed success. There's no such thing as guaranteed success. Stop shitting on streamers who enjoy doing primarily just chatting. Twitch is not just for gaming anymore. I'm convinced that cosplayers who actually get a bunch of cosplay work done on stream are witches. Burn the witch. Complaining because another streamer has the views you want is tacky. While congratulating another streamer for being in a place you would one day love to be is dope. Be nice to your chat. You can't complain about not having enough views or interaction and then you're rude to your fucking chat. I reiterate, stop blaming women for your lack of success. It's not women's fault, and Twitch isn't just for men. It's okay to be a chill streamer. It's also okay to be a hype streamer. However you want to be on stream is correct. However, you should be genuine, as genuine as possible. I think that's it. Thanks for watching, pals. My hot takes no one asked for. Jokes aside, I mean, not that I'll, I, I do feel that way, um, but I absolutely love streaming. I'm learning a lot and it's been a fantastic year. So I am happy to be there. Follow me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash ohmysophie. I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have an incredible, incredible positive community. Um, subs get Discord access and, and I do lots of giveaways and stuff. And we just have a great time. Uh, but thank you for hanging out with me here. Please subscribe, check out my past videos for trying to hit partnership here and on Twitch. And yeah, just thank you, pals. This video was meant to be in good fun though. I did not mean to offend anybody if you were offended. My bad.